In this video, we will showcase the usage of Resource Hacker, a program that allows you to easily extract icon files from existing programs and also to change the icon file of a program. This will hopefully help to create a more convincing payload, tricking your victim to believe that an EXE program is actually a harmless PDF document. You can download Resource Hacker from its official page over here. Click through the installation and Resource Hacker will be available on your Windows machine. By default, Windows machine will get its PDF icon from the Microsoft Edge browser. This is assuming that your victim runs a default Windows configuration and do not have additional software for opening up PDF documents like Adobe. Else, you can extract the PDF icon from Adobe instead. As shown over here, you can extract the PDF icon file from Microsoft Edge browser and save it separately. We have a Windows Defender exclusion configured as shown in the screen. We will be utilizing a Metapreter EXE payload for this demonstration. Let's hop over to our Kali machine and generate the payload. We will also need to set up a Metapreter listener on a separate window. Let's transfer the Metapreter EXE over to our Windows machine. Right now, the EXE payload has no icon and it can be difficult to convince your victim to click on it. Let's change the icon file of the payload.exe binary to match a PDF document. Nice, this looks much better. One thing to note is that by default, the view options will hide known file extensions as shown over here so the .exe is not displayed. If we were to turn it on, we can see that it is showing the .exe extension now. It depends on how technical and aware your victim is. It might still work given that the file icon is convincing. Another trick we can apply is a publicly known technique known as the right to left override with the special character u plus 202 e. This will cause the file explorer to display the characters from right to left instead. I will not be going through the details of it, but feel free to throw the question at ChatGPT and give it a read at your own time. We can achieve this right to left RTL display via PowerShell with the character and code command like this. As shown in the screen, it is displaying .pdf instead of .exe now. It is even more convincing that this is a PDF document instead of an EXE file. One thing to note is that many AV and EDR software will trigger detection upon the file name containing this set of special character for the RTL display. Alright all, this is it to today's video. I hope you have found it to be useful. 
If you are interested in learning about hacking a Windows Active Directory domain network environment, here is a playlist available on my YouTube channel where it contains 4 episodes showcasing the attack techniques, tactics and procedures commonly used by an attacker in a Windows domain network Active Directory. It has hands-on technical demonstration of attacks such as crack map exec, bloodhound, how to perform network pivoting and many others. On my Udemy page, I have a free introductory course that explains the core concept of phishing as well. This course is 100% completely free and it showcases the common approaches and tools to phishing and what attackers aim to achieve in phishing attacks, such as harvesting credentials or convincing a victim to click on a malicious payload. The link to the resources will be provided in the video's description, so be sure to check them out. Here is a quick shout out to everyone who have donated to my channel so far. Thank you and I really appreciate it a lot. Please help to like the video and subscribe to the channel. It will really help out the channel a lot. Thanks all, I appreciate it. I will see you all soon in the next one. Bye.